Well, hello, this is why I have not been with you <laughs> for, two <coughs> <coughs> for 2020. I have absolutely zero energy. I don't have a mind at the moment to do anything creative. <clears throat> and I know quite a lot of you have been getting in touch via social when I've had the energy to look at it um, and I just, I haven't been bothered. <laughs> um, so what's wrong? <clears throat> Why have I not been in touch? So uh, New Year's Eve, Gary wasn't feeling well at all and he was coughing a lot and um, the cough was so powerful it was making him fall to his hands and knees because it like just overtook him. He said he's never ever in his life felt anything like it. <clears throat> Without me being rude, I'm like, I get it every year, that kind of cough. It's awful. Absolutely awful. Gary's going, this is horrendous. And then um, Frankie Jack started coughing. And uh, I went to work New Year's Day and the day after. And at work on the Thursday, which would have been the second, I, I think. Oh, I don't know, something niggling. And I knew that something wasn't right. Anyway, it got to... Uh, Friday and I was doing a bit of work which you probably saw on Instagram of a bit of filming and I started to tear it as the day went on I felt dreadful half past seven at night went to bed no got home had a bath and started to shake uncontrollably with goosebumps all over my body Um, it was disgusting it, it I, I could not I could not stop Um, got into bed eventually got myself warm and then started pouring with sweat Saturday, couldn't even get out of bed, couldn't even open my eyes, the light would hurt, my whole body aches from my fingertips down to my toes, I couldn't move my body, I didn't want to move my body, I couldn't even properly get up to go for a wee, it was, I felt awful. So Sunday, Gary starts coughing up blood, so we, we dial 111 and we both got an appointment, we went to that appointment, I passed out outside, I felt absolutely dreadful. All had our chests <clears throat> checked. Um, Gary, they couldn't hear anything. It was clear, but obviously he'd been bringing up blood and green mucus. Sorry to go into too much detail. So they gave him some antibiotics. Um, Frankie Jack, fine, although he's coughing and he, he's... <coughs> <coughs> he's bringing up a little bit of phlegm, like almost being sick when he's coughing. Um, but he's been fine. I think kids just get back to it really quick, don't they? Oh, I'm so tired even doing this video. But for me, great. I've got it the worst. Um, so my chest is rattling, I'm wheezing, my asthma's obviously kicked in. Um, I've only got slight asthma now, my breathing is so much better. Um, obviously since the iron infusion and I, I really thought that hopefully the iron infusion would stop this, but my friend said it it's not going to stop everything you know and unfortunately you've I've got a weak chest and uh, if anything's going to come and hit me it's going to be on my chest because I had all those years of repeatedly having chest infections and I'm asthmatic I have to sit back because I'm struggling I've no makeup on and I am cold at the moment but I'm just starting to sweat again so this is no good so that's when I whip this off back I'm not doing that one I'm on the thing to you so um yeah, so this is why I've not been in touch. So I've actually not left my bed. I've got my drink here, my hot drink. I've got night nurse to knock me out. <clears throat> I have to take a spare spray six times a day, six times, four, spray six times, four times a day. Prednisolone in the morning, and then um, which is a steroid, because uh, my chest it's the rattle has stopped, so um, couldn't move Monday. Today I woke up and I got Frankie Jack ready for school, so I thought, oh, I might be feeling a bit better. I can go to work tomorrow. So I got up and had a shower, went downstairs, put a wash on, and then burst into tears because I couldn't do it, and I thought. How am I going to go to work? I can't go to work. But again, it's back to the old thing that 
there's some pr pros with being a freelancer but one of those cons is that you don't get paid if you don't go to work I've just had to sound myself off for the rest of the week um, so I don't know how much content you're going to get I'm so sorry but I know so many of you I'll be so lovely and well not so many of you all of you because I haven't got any nasty people on my YouTube I'm very lucky um, I know that a lot of people do have what they call trolls is it <laughs> I don't have any of them but I'm so whacked I can't even tell you I'm so whacked so just bear with me until I'm back up and running um, I just wanted to show you where I've been spending the last four days. I feel absolutely hideous. <laughs> and I know a lot of people have had this, so, or are going through it. If you are, leave your comments. How are you coping with it? How you feel? Um, and also, uh, I just wondered... Oh, I don't want to speak <laughs> I just wondered what your favourite content was of mine in 2019. If you've got any suggestions and anything that you would like to see more of or something that you've not seen me do in 2020. And while I'm poorly and just flicking through when I have the energy, I can have a look and see whether um, there's any... I can't even think straight. There's anything that is worth um, you know picking up on and, and doing for you. Um, thank you so much for being there. I'm surrounded by Christmas decorations. Gary's tried to take down most of them. Um, but it's a shithole over there. <laughs> it's a shithole in the land. It's just a shithole everywhere. <laughs> because <coughs> <coughs> I am had a cough. Sorry, I have had a cough. But it hasn't been as bad as usual. And I haven't got a cold. Um, although I sound nasally, which is a bit strange, but I haven't had a cold with it. But oh my god, have I been ill? Or do I feel ill? I feel ill now. So thanks very much for your support. And um, yeah, just want to know who's felt like this. I like, honestly, this is how I feel. I, I can't even but So this is why I can't make any content because it's not going to be great. Um, I'll try and do something in the next couple of days, but just bear with me while I'm getting better. Um, I just wanted to show you, but I love you lots. And thanks for being there. Um, let me know if you or any of your member family have gone through the same thing. And I'm, I'm knackered doing this. I'll see you later. Love you lots. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give you a thumbs up. See you later.